Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Real with Nusrat. And as always, I'm your host, Nusrat. Um, today's topic is going to be about almost maybe everything that we've discussed so far with regards to relationships. And it has to do with how the dynamics of family structures and relationship structures have actually changed over the years. And what we want to still incorporate into our lives needs to remain in the past. We need to move forward with new ideas and new ways of how we can live with each other. So stay tuned, guys. So we'll start with the olden days. Let's go back way in time from our forefathers, our grandfathers. The systems in the communities were set. From the beginning of the family, you'd know that what's the father's responsibility, what's the mother's responsibility. The father was to go out, get food, get money, get anything that is required for the home. The mother's job was to sit at home, take care of the kids, raise them. And she would socialize socially with the fellow women. It was a set structure. You knew everyone in your village, you knew everyone's work. Everyone has a designated job that makes the entire community a part of a much complex organization, if you can call it. So, simplified. There was a chief, there was a policeman, there was a postal guy, you know, and that is how the family names came up. I can only remember one actually. Uh, Bamafta, you know, that's from probably the whole family was from a family that used to make keys. Who knows that? So each family had their own trade, their own job that meant something to the entire society. So simplified. You probably would grow up doing what your father did. It is a family business, you know, and everyone knew who everyone was. Same with the women. There's a woman who sews clothes for everybody else. You know, there's a woman who cooks. She's the best for everybody else. There's a woman who is the midwife, the local midwife. So everyone has a designation everyone knew where they belonged and everyone had a purpose in that community you know so fast forward in our modern times now where do these problems arise of divorces where do these problems arise of you know uh, family constraints and where do all these issues of psychological turmoil as individuals we go through okay turn it up a bit in Swahili um, sasa ni tafauti. Mwanamke yuenda skuli, mwanamume yuenda skuli. Uh, family businesses, uh, the families that have family businesses are very few. So structure zetu zinkuwa kwamba ni usome, upate kazi. That's it, you know. Na kazi not in relation to what your family is doing. Then comes the woman. You are no longer restricted to just kuka nyumbani, kuangalia watoto, kulia watoto all that no now you are going out there wasoma wafanya kazi you're involved socially politically there's all that so a big difference yeah even with our children there's a big difference for how children were raised kitambo and how they're raised now so turning it down to just two people a husband and a wife why is there so much failure sasa what we fail to realize is that how it used to be before cannot be how it is now. And the more we fight it, the more marriages are going to break in our community. We need to realize kwamba structures, the marriages, zimebadilika over time. So the roles of the husband and the wife zimebadilika over time as well. Remember what I said, I said roles, not rights. The rights remain. You know, if we are going to look at it in a religious perspective, rights zabakia vile vile hazibadiliki no matter what the time. But the roles change. Ikiba mimi ndonenda kazini. I am probably the primary breadwinner for the family. Kiba hati, or maybe kima lezi kule nilipotoka, priority me put for education for me. Mimi mwanamke ni mesoma zaidi kuliko mume wangu, napata kazi nzuri. 
na ulewa na mume ambaye pengine yeye kazi yake si nzuri ama kibahati kwa sasa economically mambo si mazuri yeye hana kazi so the shift here does not shift uh, negatively it should not shift negatively towards the woman the two of them should still realize kwamba rightfully yule mume respect yake yabaki vile vile kama mwanamume but when you look at it economically kama ni mwanamume ndo prime mwanamke ndo primary breadwinner then mwanamke ana right ya financial decisions kwenye nyumba so what has changed the roles have changed that's it we are both working we are both uh, tired when we come home what are the changes you cook i wash you do the kids with the kids homework mimi nitawatia walale sote hatukuchoka but what we change now is that tutaka vile vile mababu zetu walivyokuwa na sasa tuwe vile vile ya kwamba mimi nkija nyumbani mwanamke atakikana awe anipikia awe anjipamba awe na nafasi ya kitandani pia kuwa active in bed so that same person with all that energy ya siku nzima ya kwa antoka amfanya kazi probably as difficult as yours and with nyumbani lile kero la watoto si nyinyi tu wanaume sisi pia tuliona kero no matter what kama sisi ndo tuliwaza sisi pia kwa tusisi kero na hakuna mwanamke trust me no one will openly admit this but hakuna mwanamke ambaye hatamani na yeye siku moja akasema hawa watoto ngamo mwezi mzima mtu mwingine awatwae na mimi mpumzike manake once you are labeled as a mother you are meant you are thought of kwamba huchoki wewe uchoki wale watoto basi mbako kijaliwa wewe nka ngozi usichoke nayo and this brings a lot of stress in families na kwa mwanamume the pressure to provide in economic times such as these where it is very difficult has become a psychological turmoil for the man a huge psychological turmoil How do I maintain my ego as a man and the respect kwenye nyumba yangu ikiwa mimi kama mwanamume I am unable to provide for that family 100%. So you start thinking my wife doesn't respect me. My family probably doesn't respect me, you know? And so these are all the reasons sin. Yeah, trust a crow to try and make his conversation better than mine. It's probably a male crow. Anyway, it's gone. Oh, it's back. Okay. I've kind of lost my train of thought, but I'll try and continue. Okay. So, how uh do you as a man just maintain your psychological balance amidst all this, amidst all these thoughts? And these has been seen as the reason as to why men resort to drugs, men resort to extra marital affairs because If I'm not getting that uh, my ego maintained nyumbani my self esteem my confidence as a man na nipate mwanamke nje be it on facebook social media plays a big role upate mwanamke kule nje ambaye has the time to listen to you has the time to to make you feel like you're a man you would head in that direction quite easily and this is the one thing our women do not want to accept the fact that maintaining your home means maintaining your the psychology of your husband as well we are very fierce women right now we work hard we get uh, a good economic balance in our lives we get good money we can be independent we can live by ourselves and that is quite a threat to a man the fact that beza kumwambia mwanamume whether you exist in my life or not i can be by myself no Just because you can does not mean you need to rub it on that man constantly. So the fact that these structures have changed have, have really played an influence in how we need to look into our marriages all over again and see how do we come up with new regulations on maintaining our marriages so that they don't fail. A fail safe solution to it, you know? And it and can only come through raw interactions individual raw interactions if we forget that our marriages see you based on the society we come from but based on our individuality as two people then i don't think we can fail 
me and my husband are very raw in our discussions, including sexual discussions. I will openly tell my husband what I want from him sexually. I will openly tell my husband what I want from him economically as well, you know, so that if you are my expectations are too much, it is a discussion. So fine, your expectations are A, B, C, D. I cannot meet these expectations economically. Where do we come in as a balance? Sio wanawake, sasa hivi ilikuwa Ramadhani, wanawake wazungumza during this COVID-19 pandemic na wanawake wakawa wazungumza watakabadilisha pazia, watakanunua nguo mpya, mavyakula yanunuliwa. And then I sat and wondered, how are wanawake kweli wao wao ndo wanaofanya kazi ama zi pesa watakao waumeza? You know? And this is the offense housewives take most of the time. Mimi usema, mimi kwa sababu ya jasho langu na toa jasho ile value ya pesa naizuia. Najua umuhimu wa ile value ya pesa na najua kukosa. I know what it feels to be out of a job and unable to take care of your responsibilities. So women who are at home and are 100% dependent on your husbands, the times have changed. It is time kuwa na imani na waume zenu. Si maswala tu ya pesa kutolewa na kutumika. It is time you took your part in the financial responsibilities of your home to ensure that the future is stable. Sio ikiwa mume ana kazi watakamkamua paka umalize. Akiwa hana umseme hana na hawezi kutimiza. These are the things men do not come forward and talk. But the changes in our family structures in relation to economic crisis that we have right now needs us to sit down and think clearly what exactly are the changes required in our families for us to move forward to better relations in our homes. Another mistake that we do is that we hold all our expectations to the one person in our life be it mke au mume what before our entire village used to provide for you you want that one person to give it to you and this is what i tell women when they come to me for advice or men your husband or your wife cannot do everything with you 100% you know you cannot expect everything from them like your happiness to complete you your self worth your self confidence everything to get it from one person is too much expectation that is why you have friends and this is the thing i don't get women allow your men to have friends men allow your women to have friends allow them to have other activities out there mtu ataki rudi nyumbani you know you are rich in experiences you've shared different experiences out there eh kama ni mke wako mwate vena chama cha wanawake mwate vena a get away with the girls you know if it is the boy same thing the misusing time can happen at any time mama kwaweza kwamba enda kazini na sende kazini eh mke wako kwaweza kwamba enda lala kwa mama kesi fike kama uko mama yake kwenda kula so we hatuwezi ku hold what to hostage because we fear what they might do out there hata kwa mfunga vipi yule mtu ambaye ameamua kwenda kufanya mambo na atakuyafanya atatafuta ndiye atapata but what we are saying is that allow your your spouse apate experiences from out there ambapo it contributes positively to you ikiwa mshikana nyinyi tu pamoja kama hemtu na handbag lake uli tu ile handbag si mtachokana it becomes too much hata mimi na mume wangu kuna time yeye atakwenda lale kwingine kuna time mimi nitakwenda yani ile space the breather pia yawapa nyinyi ile mapenzi kwa pamoja so before it used to be like that pengine mume atapotea siku na masiku kupotea maana yake enda kutafuta riziki akirudi yule mke ame miss for so long lakini sasa wewe day in day out wewe ni huyo huyo kija sura ni hizo hizo kitoka sura ni hiyo hiyo yachokesha bwana eh yataka mupeane time out to enjoy other people And and that is what I mean by changes in structures. Before you there were all these things you could you utakwenda hunting na wenzako, mutakwenda fishing na wenzako. Mwanamke mutakuwa na mwenda into another village so you can learn other crafts. Hawa watengeza pots nzuri village flani hebu twendeni. Basi wewe utapotea wiki tatu 
هو عندك ولي لكن وكيرو دو لامو ما يكون ميس for that long. But it's easy to do it here. So let us create these extracurricular activities. Nasisisi, njoo, manake nkizumza jua issues, uambiba, ata everywhere in the world we have these issues. Fine. But let us find solutions for the issues we have here. You know? Whatever was working for our grandfathers, our grandmothers is not working for us anymore. Even extended family structures have changed. What we used to be raised by Everybody, my, our aunties, our uncles, your grandmother is there. But sasa ni pipi. Uko kwenye ki apartment kama kibanda cha kuku, ni wewe, mume wako, na watoto, na maid. Uyo maid, afave kweta na picha ibandi kwe juu. Mana ni one maid after the other. Those are the ones that are raising our kids. Eh? Isn't that is what has changed right now? But before, it was sisi venyewe kwa venyewe. So the changes that we need is, I always ask couples, what is your what are your principles as a family kwamba family ya ahmed family ya hussein is known for this these are their principles as people as a family eh? and what is the individuality of nusrat what is the individuality of ahmed as a, as people what are these characters that make us us what are your personal principles that no matter what happens in life they don't change your decisions and your choices because those are what define you as a person we want to define relationships before we've even uh, before we've even established our own individualities you know so each person brings something different on the table and we are both in charge of our own happinesses you know so i hope we can continue with these discussions and we can talk a lot more about what are the changes that are happening in our lives and how we can adopt our individualities into the relationships we have. Somebody just decided to knock the hell out of whatever it is that they're doing. So I'm going to cut this short and I hope we continue all this in the comment section and as well in our homes. And as we share the ideas all round, hopefully we can understand that. We need to move on with the times and hopefully positively here's to better family structures and a better society at large it's been real with nusrat <laughs>